What does it feel like to turn 100 years old? On his 100th birthday, Walter Radcliffe of Manahawken, who served in World War II, is looking back at his service and his many blessings in life as his fellow VFW members here in Barnegat celebrate his big day. Born July 10th, 1921, Walter Radcliffe would go on to volunteer for the U.S. Navy in 1943, attend basic training, and go on to serve in five engagements during his time in the Navy, three in the Philippines, and two in Okinawa, where he saw friends perish, including in the Battle of Okinawa, as his ship was under attack and received significant damage from a kamikaze attack. They were very, my very, very best friends. And there's hardly a day goes by that I don't think of them in, in a special way. They were great friends, and they, they were died for their country. In fact, he was supposed to be with them, but had been reassigned to another position during general quarters, keeping him out of the engine room on the ship, where a plane crashed, killing 84 of the 250 sailors on board. It had a 500-pound bomb on it. This plane flew right into the gun turret, wiped out the whole engine room. During the Battle of Okinawa, Radcliffe says they were under constant attack and on the lookout for kamikaze pilots. Their objective was to sink ships. And they came out every day and hammered the hell out of us. The sailors were in constant survival mode as they were on the lookout for kamikaze pilot attacks while working to defend the ship and keep up their own strength. There were times when we never left the guns. We stayed on the guns and they brought us food. They'd bring you a sandwich, they'd bring you a bowl of beans or something. You know, uh, it was never ending. It was just terrible. But he continued to fight and serve mentally and physically, whatever his country needed of him. I guess you'd call me a patriot, but I love this country. Before he initially shipped off to service in 1943, Radcliffe was exempt as he worked for a company that made the engines for ships. He kept trying to get into the service regardless, though, for love of country and to serve the U.S. with his friends and was given a presidential deferment and began training and serving with the U.S. Navy. So I didn't have to go, but I wanted to go. All my friends were in the service. I just wanted to go. Following World War II in 1946, Walter received an honorable discharge with the rank of third-class petty officer and received a number of awards for his naval service. He survived the attacks of World War II and has led a long and healthy life working in the insurance industry and banking sector before retiring. Now, his fellow military veterans in the Barnegat VFW are helping him celebrate his life as Walter turns 100 years old. It was a very hard war. And for somebody to reach 100 years old, that's a statement. And to me, to be able to celebrate his birthday with him is great. Walter is still very active with the Barnega VFW as well, helping them with several events. He's very helpful. When we do our property drive, he used to be a banker, or head of a bank. And he comes and helps us count the money. Walter isn't slowing down just yet as he turns 100, feeling youthful and energetic on the inside. I don't feel any different. I feel good. It's a good day. My aches and pains are few. And I'm happy to be here and converse with all these gentlemen here. Is, is there a secret to a, to a long and healthy life? Uh, I think it's a matter of luck and taking care of yourself. Be careful about what, what you eat. Get the right amount of exercise. I, I don't know. It's a combination of things, I think. Walter still enjoys coming to VFW meetings on Wednesdays, getting outside and cutting the grass, and just being with family and friends. Happy birthday, Walter. In Barnegat, Vin Avenue, Town Square Media News.